Okay, so uh, three years after my last video about my near-death experience, I had another one. <laughs> I uh, was seeing my my uh, doctor, my primary doctor, and I, I mentioned to him in one of my visits, uh, something was wrong with me. You know, he goes, "What's what's the issue?" And I said, "Well, I keep waking up." I wake up in the morning after resting all night, which I was having trouble sleeping because of my back. And, uh, but I would get some sleep, you know, I would at least get four hours sleep, not all together, but I was getting sleep, you know, maybe five. And I told him I wake up and I'm tired. You know, I feel like I'm been running all night. It's the only way I could explain it to him. And he goes, how long has this been going on? You know, and I said, well, it's been, you know, I don't remember how long it probably a couple months or something and he goes there could be something wrong with your heart so uh, uh, he goes uh, we need to do a cardiogram and an x-ray of your chest and if we have to we can do a stress test I said okay he goes you gonna refer me he goes no we can do this here we have the cardiogram and the and the x-ray here I said okay so they did it, you know, took them a while, and then they come back to me, and and the doctor goes, we don't see, we don't see anything wrong with your heart. And he did mention, uh, his nurse practitioner mentioned, uh, why are all your ribs broken? He goes, well, they're healed now, but they've been broken, and they're healed now. All your ribs, the whole rib cage, because it goes around your rib cage. I go, yeah, you forgot about the horse? No, the horse fell on top of me. He goes, oh. And I go, and I kept telling that doctor, there's something wrong with my chest, my back. You know, it, it's not preventing me from standing over. And he goes, the doctor then in Mexico said, uh, that's your that's your therapy. Get up and walk. And I had a walker, and I could barely stand up. And he goes, you should already be walking. Anyway, that's a, another story. But my ribs were broken, and they were healed. And he goes, well, we noticed that. And he goes, yeah, that's from that. Okay. He goes, well, my doctor goes, There's, we don't see anything wrong. You know, I think you're okay. And I said, well, no, no. I said, there's something wrong with me. And luckily I have a, I had a great doctor. He retired already. And he listened to me and he goes, and I asked him, I said, you, you said a, a stress test, something about a stress test. You want to do that? And I said, yes. Can you refer me to do that? But I think I need to do that. So he referred me to a, a, a place where they could do it it's a hospital nearby me near me and uh you know, i think a day later a couple of days later it was on friday and i went and i took my son with me it was uh, or in the morning 10 o'clock or something like that and my 11 year old son went with me and i get there and you're okay you know they Put me on a threat mill and put a cardio cardiogram machine on me or whatever it's called and uh they uh started the stress test and the stress is just a cardiogram while you're walking and you start slow and then you get faster anyway i started slow and it started getting faster and the nurse starts going crazy on me she goes wait 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 what are you feeling she kept asking me i said nothing i'm getting a little tired you know i gotta mess the back like i said I explained to them, and it's comfortable, uncomfortable for me to, you know, walk too much. But I think I can do this. And she goes, she goes, uh, what do you feel? You feel any pain? I said, no, no pain. Your arms or anything? I said, your legs, you know, arms, chest. I go, I don't feel no pain. I'm just starting to get tired. She goes, you know, she stops it. Stop, stop, stop. He goes, uh, come and lay down, lay down on this table. They had a, a not a table, a bed. Come lay down on this bed. And and I go, okay. And I go, what's wrong? She goes, uh, the doctor has to tell you that. And I said, oh, something's wrong. She goes, there's something wrong. And she lay down and she tells, there was another nurse there. She goes, bring the nitroglycerin. And I look at her and I go, am I having a heart attack or, or what's going on? She goes, you're having something. But the doctor is the only one that can explain that to you. And she goes, there's something going on. There's something wrong with your heart. And she goes, unofficially, you got blockage. 
you know, this is what I do, but I'm not supposed to tell you. The doctor's going to tell you, so don't tell her I told you. I said, okay. And then she mentions to the other nurse, she goes, that's why the doctor should be here. She should be here. And I said, oh, I didn't think nothing of it, but uh, so they call her, tell her, you need to come down here. And she tells them, I guess, to wheel me up there, and the nurse got mad. She was upset, visibly upset. She goes, no, she should be here. She needs to come down here. Anyway, she didn't come down here. They put me on a wheelchair with the results, and they sent me to her office, which is in the next building or something. I was in the like the hospital, and she was uh, in the office uh, building next to it or something like that. So they wheeled me over there. They said, you can't walk. Uh, we don't want you walking. And, and I'm like, okay. You know, I'm like, okay. So they sent me to her office. Uh, the guy, a nurse that took me there, or a assistant tells her I'm there and, and in a few minutes she comes out and she looks at my thing and she goes, Mr. Salazar, you know, she goes, uh, who did you come here with? I said, I brought my 11 year old son. Who drove you? I said, nobody drove me. I drove myself. You're driving? I go, yeah. What are your symptoms? You know, she's all upset. And I'm like, my symptoms is that I wake up tired in the morning when I should be rested. I used to be that was my most rested time, and, and during the day I get tired, and now I wake up tired. That's my whole thing. You have any pain, chest, arms? No, I said, I have no pain. Uh, and keep explaining uh, the same thing. No pain. The only symptom I have is that I wake up tired in the morning. And she's looking, and she goes, well, you got blockage. You got blockage. We need to find out you know, how bad it is or how much it is. So we need to do a... I think it's called an angioplasty where they put a radioactive dye through your leg, one of the arteries in your leg, and uh, they take an x-ray movie. So I said, okay. She goes, you can't leave. You got to stay. You can't go. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going over. She's all excited. And I'm, I'm still calm. She goes, can you call anybody? I said, yeah, I call my wife, call my brother, because there's something wrong with you, and we need to find out. She, they, we may be able to put a stent in there. And um, or something, and she was okay. Well, let's find out. Let's do that. So anyway, they they wheel me back to the where I was with the with the stress test area, and the nurses, those two nurses are there, and she's like, she says, tells the other nurse, and I hear it. She goes, "Why is she gonna do that? The guy that does the stents ain't here." And she looked at me. She goes, "I don't know why she's doing this." The guy, he goes, don't say, no. I didn't say nothing. I said, I'm not going to say nothing. So they get me ready, and my wife gets there, my brother gets there, and I tell them, you know, the doctor's freaking out, the nurse was freaking out, they said something wrong with my heart. I'm still not, you know, swallowing this. I'm still not processing it. I'm still pretty calm, you know. I didn't have no other symptoms, so I'm thinking, you know, nothing. nothing. So they do that. They put you under, they put you to sleep, and they put me under, and I remember, you know, opening my eyes, and I'm laying down, and I'm, I'm looking, you know, and I see the screen, and, and I see a x-ray movie of, of my heart, and I asked the, the gentleman, is it the radiologist, I believe, I go, is that me? He goes, yeah, that's you. You want to see it? I said, yeah. So he plays it from the beginning. And she goes, watch this main. This is your this left main artery. This is your left main artery. Watch this artery. Uh, and I watch, and it's like, you know, like a, it looks like a dark line. It's pretty thick. And then it goes 